man with orange colored hair sat across the desk from me in his famous red chair that millions had seen on the reality show, The Apprentice. It was the summer of 2016, and in just a few months, that man in the red chair would be elected president of the United States. He sat there listening intently as I shared with him the story of my daughter, Rachel, who was killed in the Columbine tragedy back in 1999. He asked a number of questions. It was very polite and engaging during the hour-long visit that we had together along with four of my friends. And as I'm sharing this with you, I can sense that there's judgment and prejudice already arising from some of you that are listening, even before I get to the end of this story. And that's what this blog is about. It's about daring to see not only the flaws and failures, but also the gifts and talents in others, even those we disagree with. This same man, now as President of the United States, would invite my wife Sandy and I to the White House following the horrible school shooting in Parkland, Florida, to share some words of comfort to the families and friends of the victims. Again, he was courteous, polite, and respectful the whole time. And yet this man has been the most judged, criticized, mocked, and disrespected president in the history of our nation. Has he judged, criticized, mocked, and disrespected others? Yes, he has. So I'm offering no excuses for him or for those who have judged him. We all have been guilty, including me, of demeaning others. However, when the criticism and judgment is directed at us, we hate it. The raven's wings may filthy be, yet none will stare or even see. But if upon the white dove's breast the smallest speck of dirt should rest, the criticism would be heard about this filthy little bird. Another's flaws we oft demean, so our own faults will not be seen. Dr. Martin Luther King once said, There is some good in the worst of us, and some evil in the best of us. And as Oprah Winfrey once told me when we were filming one of her shows, people find what they look for. You can find faults, flaws, and failures in anyone that you choose to. Or you can find goodness and kindness. It just depends on what you're looking for. Discard your glasses of criticism and view others through a lens of kindness. Dare to go against the tide of human skepticism and choose to look for the best in others. You might be pleasantly surprised at what you find.